What's up, everybody? This is Tim from Live at CaseBreak.com. Thank you guys for checking out our YouTube channel. A little late night mojo here on Mint and Immaculate release day. We also have the brand new Preferred Hoops. That stuff right up there is off the charts, selling extremely well everywhere. Product of the year is what we're here, and that's available for late night. We got a four box Immaculate Divisional. Everybody's on the screen. Mr. No Hits is Charles. Dansby Swanson is Mike E, and everybody else wanted to remain uh, with their normal name. So here we go, we're going to do the dice, and uh, then we'll do the division and see what everybody gets. And the top four in the random, minus myself, will pick boxes for the break. Good luck. Okay, five rolls on the dice first. There's one. Hold on, it's not all the way on the screen. There we go. Two, three, four, and five. Woo! Ten rolls. Okay, names first. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got one, so that means uh, Mike, Jordan, Brian, and Danny. You'll be picking boxes. And let's see what divisions everybody gets. Ten times. One, two, three. Four. Slide that over just a little bit. There we go. Uh, we're on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have the AL West. Dansby has the NL East. Jordan, AL Central. Brian, NL West. Danny, AL East, and... Mr. No Hits as the NL Central. He's got his, uh, he's got his Redbirds. There you guys go. I'm going to put that into a Excel and get it printed out. Is anybody partial to the AL Central? Jordan's asking over on uh, Breakers. Gotta be some Colton Long in there. Brian would be interested in the Twins, Jordan. The Diamondbacks are Brian, if anyone's interested. Alright, let me just print this out. Danny, I totally would have put you in as Dean Anna. There you go, bro.
think he's just a little behind on the chat, so he'll reply in a second. Okay. Mark down your real name, so... So how did, uh, how did Dansby Swanson do it tonight? Oh yeah, let's pick some boxes too. Uh, Mike, I'm gonna grab these out. Six and seven. Mike E, you are up first. Give me a box pick one through seven. The number will go down every time we pick one. So, Jordan, you'll be picking one through six. Brian, you'll be picking one through five. Danny, you'll be picking one through four. I uh, said twins will be available for trade. So, if he hits any twins, they'll be available for you guys. I don't know what the checklist looks like for this. I honestly did not look at it. I know it's a massive checklist. Alright, so Mike wants box four in the break. There's one. Jordan, give me one through six. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going box two. Alright. One through five for Brian. Box one through five. point, Jordan. I was just about to bring that up. Team USA in collegiate hits. <sighs> Generally, we go by pre-assigned teams. So, we go by, if they're in the Hall of Fame, it's whoever he went into the Hall of Fame as. The majority of those guys are in the Hall of Fame. I know McGuire's not. McGuire would go to the A's. That's who we always have him pre-assigned with. Um... I'm trying to think who else is in those sets. If they are prospects, they go to their current team. Bonds would go to the Giants, 100%. He would go to the Giants. Let's see if we can nail out a couple more of these before we start, guys, just so there's no confusion. And uh, Danny is not in the room, so Charles, you go ahead and pick the last box, dude. One, two, three, or four. Bo Jackson would definitely be the Royals. A lot of them are pretty pretty straightforward. There are a couple, though. No, I know, Charles. We've It's because he went to USC. And his card's a USC, so we always, we always just kind of said, yeah, he's going to go to Oakland. West Coast thing. That's where he came up. Griffey's a Seattle Mariner, always. A-Rod... I think A-Rod would be a Yankee. That's who he's been with the last five, six years. So Bonds, Bo Jackson, Griffey, and A-Rod. A-Rod, New York, Griffey, Seattle, Bo Jackson, Kansas City. Bonds, uh, San Fran. Yeah, he's not going to the Marlins. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Uh, box four, okay. I didn't want to start the break without Danny, but I don't see him. Oh, Danny. Danny Man. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and he can catch the recording. I'm not sure if he's able to watch or what. Yeah, I spent most of the time. Or is that the only questionable ones, Jordan? I mean, like I said, prospects are easy. Prospects go to whatever current team they're on. 
So Dansby's going to the Braves. Uh, Moncada, Red Sox. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else got traded. Yeah, Rodon's definitely White Sox. Those are the questionable ones? Okay. All right, so everyone's got the rules. We're good to go. Hopefully we don't run into any more funny business. Uh, if there's any presidential cuts or anything crazy like that, it'll be random amongst everybody. Good luck, everybody. There we go. I'm going to take these other three from behind here and just take them off screen. Put them over here for now. We've got plenty of room here. There we go. Box one. Good luck. Uh, Randy Johnson Mariners. Actually, Randy Johnson went into the Hall as a Diamondback, didn't he? So it would be Arizona. He went into the Hall of Fame as a Diamondback, right? That's the, the basic thing we use, Jordan, is the Hall of Fame. Yeah, if, uh, yeah if it's a, the team on card will always override that. But he's talking about just the USA and the collegiate autos. Yep, so Randy Johnson, Zona. If he's not if it's not a team listed on COD. He did go in as Arizona, right? I'm not losing my mind. And I was pretty sure he did. I just want to make sure. The boxes are picked. If you guys would like to run this back with those last three, I'm more than willing to do it. I would love a Bonds Pirates auto. But the problem is I'd want it uh you know, I'd want the real one. Ooh, we got a big fat card right there in the middle. Look at the size of that thing. Hopefully a plate or a knob. I'm going to put it on the bottom. And not peek. Not peek. Come on, man. Alright, guys. First. Okay, I thought he went in this as a Diamondback. Just want to make sure. Okay, 5 out of 25. So the NL West with a red parallel strikes first. Adrian Gonzalez. Big old fatty. We got a big Bertha. Second card, NL East, Giolito, 59 out of 99. Cameron just wants to die on me. There we go. 59 out of 99, Giolito. So NL East. I'm going to sort these as we go. Make it nice and easy. NL West and NL East. There we go. Okay. National League. Every team's got a hit. 45 out of 49, Matt Carpenter. Nice card for Charles. 45 out of 49. A little autographed game used. Matt Carpenter. Sticker auto. Come on, man. Okay, the Oakland A's. 90 out of 99. That one's on card. Immaculate Marks. Raleigh Fingers. 90 out of 99. We are on the board. We've got a Henry Owens. <laughs> Who's got the AL East? Danny. Dean Anna with the AL East. Would you look at that? We didn't even get Henry Owens out of mint. Whatever that card is underneath there. That is crazy looking. I'm going to even get the question mark out for it. Owens, get him off screen. AL East is on the board. And a card for Mr. No Hits. Little Schwarber. Six piece card. Two out of ten. Damn, dude. Looks like you've got glove, helmet, jersey. And I don't know what the hell that is in the middle. Maybe batting glove? Two out of ten for the Cub, Schwarber. That is a really cool looking card. Let's see if it tells us. Player used material. It doesn't tell us which, uh, what it is though. I'm sure it tells you on the checklist, Charles. That is awesome. I mean, that looks like a cleat relic. 
These two look like batting gloves. Those are obviously jerseys. I don't know what the hell that is right there. It's all leather, so I, that's why I was saying glove. Used cup. There you go. Two out of ten. That's an awesome looking hit. Nice. NL Central. Owning box one. Absolutely owning. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're here. Confused myself for a minute there. Cut on the side so I don't scuff it up. Batting glove, fielding glove, shoe, and jersey. That's what it could be. Uh, I, I'm sure the checklist tells us. Smell it. No, thank you. I will pass. I'll pass on the smell test. Okay, box two. So far, the AL Central is skunk so far. We got another fat card. Set it on the bottom and not peek. Another fatty. Is this the product that Ruth came out of? Which Ruth? You're thinking of flawless, Jordan. You're thinking of the briefcases. I believe. Pretty sure that's what you're thinking of. I'm just saying, to organize this off on the side. Okay, we got one, two, three, we got six cards again. Top card base out of ten. Jimmy Fox for Boston. Boston, huh? I thought Jimmy Fox was a Philadelphia A. Red Sox, huh? First player in Boston history to smash 50 home runs in a season. Yep, 1938. Until the single season team record was broken by David Ortiz in 2006. So, Jimmy Fox for the Boston Red Sox. 8 out of 10. Uh, ALEs, Danny. Henry Owens and Jimmy Fox so far. Okay, Duel. This will be a tiebreaker. Xander Bogart and Jose Altuve. The Ruth, Jordan? Uh, they sold it on eBay. They got 10.7 for it. But I don't know if it was ever paid for or if that was a done deal or not. I didn't hear anything after that. All I heard is they auctioned it and they were waiting for payment at 10.7. 10, 10 uh, so this will be a random. We'll do it right on screen at the end of the break. Uh, it's either going to the East or the AL West. Xander and Altuve, dual players, 91 out of 99. Cool car. All right, next card is an auto on card. Boy, that's nice. Jason Hayward. Pictured in a Cardinals uniform, but it says Chicago on card. Either way, it's NL Central. Mr. No Hits. Apparently, this is the name you used to do. You need to use, man. Yeah, that Ruth had me uh, had my hand shaking just a little bit. Definitely. Very nice card there. Does it say St. Louis anywhere on the back? Just for No, it doesn't. All Chicago. Cool. 40 out of 49 for the NL Central. Next up is Jared Eikhoff out of 25 for the NL East. Dansby Swanson, Mikey. 23 out of 25. Gerard Eikhoff. I was going to say, this is your name that you, you need to you need to patent this, man. It's so NL East now with two cards. We have a Trey Turner. Holy crap, we got a really nasty looking card underneath. Another NL East card. Dansby Swanson. Trey Turner out of 99 game use jersey. Man. Look at this filthiness. I don't even know who this is. I can't even tell you. All I can tell is that it is a huge patch. And it is the Twins Jumbo Batting Glove of Max Kepler. Oh boy. 
Nate, look away, dude. Look away. The twins were almost traded pre-break. Jordan, you are off the schneid, my friend. Three out of four, I will. Under Armour, Max Kepler. That'd be a cool card to have him sign right here. Very nice. Hooray, he says. <laughs> Three out of four. That is just unbelievably nice. Velcro strap off his batting glove. I want to see the rest of them. I want to see the other three. Sweet! This stuff is nice. This immaculate stuff. Alright, we're on to box three. Also does not like to come out of the case at this point. I don't even know if I have top loaders that thick. I have to look. This one might have a redemption hiding. Well, just six cards, just no fatty. Our fatty streak is over. Okay, first card is Sal Perez out of 99. AL Central for Jordan. Boy, the camera's just really not acting too nicely right now. 38 out of 99, so. Two AL Central cards. We've got Jamison Tyone out of 99 for the Pirates. Poor Nate feels ill. He's a big Twins fan. Jordan, if you're selling it, let uh, let Nate know. He's a big Twins fan. Jameson Tyone on a 99. Charles. Grabbing some more hits. This is another nice one. One out of 49. NL East for Mike. Trey Turner. That's a red parallel. Three color patch. There you go. Brian's interested in it too. So you got two interested peoples. He can see you, Jordan. He can see, so you guys could barter back and forth if you'd like to. On the right-hand side, you got the two chats, Nate, Brian, and then you're right on top. Nice Trey Turner. Go along with the base. Next up is... Brian Ellington? What? Who the hell is Brian Ellington? The Miami Marlins. Uh, Mike E., this is your new most prized uh, possession. So 21 out of 99. <laughs> Brian Ellington, Jumbo Game Used Jersey. All right. Uh, NL East. Okay. Last card in this box is a Frankie Montas out of 99. 69 out of 99. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yep, that's fair. NL West, Brian. Welcome to the break, my friend. That's your first ink or patch. You had an Adrian Gonzalez before that. 69 out of 99. No, Brian Ellington is the immaculate whammy for sure. I think that's the RPA, for RPA style for this year. I think. And the last card, who we got here? Oh, nice. AL Central Mojo again for Jordan. 10 out of 25, hitters ink, Frank Thomas. The Big Hurt. Ten out of twenty-five. That is beautiful. Love Frank Thomas. All right, last box, guys. Uh, the AL East, the AL West, and the NL West are looking real, real thin. So my division, um, Mike E's division. Or no, the NL East is doing fine. The AL East. My division, Danny's division, and uh, Brian. We're getting beat up pretty good. We are getting beat up pretty good. Let's see what we can do in this last box. Skinny. 
redemption. Six cards. <laughs> so at least this is a good start. <laughs> okay, the base card is Granky out of 99 for the Diamondbacks. 93 out of 99, Granky. NL West, third card. We have Initiations, Garrett Cole for the NL Central. 83 out of 99, another card for Charles. 83 out of 99. Oh, Nate is a Twitter stalker, man. He will stalk the hell out of your Twitter. Maybe, Mike, maybe. <laughs> oh, very nice patch here. Brian, there you go. Finally got something nice for you. Well, Kershaw, 5 out of 10, red, two color. Looks like nameplate, too. That's awesome looking. Decent photoshopping job, but that plain hat still kills me. Brian J. Two color Kershaw. We got three cards left, guys. It's pretty quick, quick. Next up is 34 out of 99. Socrates Brito. For the Diamondbacks. Jumbo game used jersey. NL West again for Brian. Yeah, true. True. Socrates Brito. That bumps up the NL West stack. AL East and AL West still getting hammered. Next card is Alex Dickerson out of 49 for the Padres. Another NL West. Boy, three cards this box. Brian. 30 out of 49. I didn't even realize Dickerson wasn't on the Rockies anymore. Might be. And the last card in the break is a beautiful RPA. Very nice. The AL Central just raked up all over everybody. 92 out of 99. Miguel Sano. Triple color on the RPA. That's a really sharp looking card, I have to say. Sharp looking card. I almost don't notice the Photoshop on that one. The helmets. See, the helmets are better. The hats, you notice it. The helmets, yeah. Not so much. Nice break, Jordan. Crush that, man. Uh, let's do the random here. That is AL Central. We got a randomizer between us and Danny <laughs> for the Xander and Altuve. We both got spanked on this break, dude. You got a Henry Owens and a Jimmy Fox, and I got a Raleigh Fingers. Let's see who takes this home. AL West or AL East? Uh, I can run that back on the last three boxes, too, if you guys want to. Price will go down. I can price it out. Who's interested? Anybody? Just post in the room if you are. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. All right, Danny, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to roll right from here. Five presses. Whoever's division is closer to the number one spot or in the number one spot after five wins. So it's either west or east, whoever's higher. Good luck. One, two, three, four, and five. AL West is four. AL East is six. AL West takes the card. Xander Bogarts and Jose Altuve dual jersey. And that's the break. That Sano is beautiful. I actually I really like the RPA style this year. It doesn't fluctuate too much, but... Okay. We got everybody's name here. Let me close the break, put on some music, and see what we can fill up next, guys.